I've no doubt that um, me being a woman elicits a higher level of abuse than I see targeted at male court reporters. Members of the public will leap into shot, particularly with female reporters. So, you know, heckling, whether it's being chased after, called all sorts of words. I've had colleagues who have uh, had their photos photoshopped on um, naked photos. In my case, my face was photoshopped on a Playboy uh, cover. So being a woman means that you experience things that your male colleagues won't necessarily experience. Like it's, certainly na it's certainly nastier with women. I think there's definitely a misogynist side to whenever a, when a woman writes about a man and, and they don't like it, it can, be a, it can be a lot nastier. I think when you're reporting on something that may particularly impact a minority group, that does come under a, a lot more scrutiny. Intimidation is very sad and it's important that those voices are heard and those stories are told. Otherwise, we're never going to move forward and we're never going to break down those barriers. I don't think that um, young journalists coming into the profession these days are ready. And I don't think there's any way to get them ready for the level of abuse that they're going to encounter. Now, um, if you come into the profession and you're more likely to be abused as a woman, then it follows that there's going to be less women doing the job and I see that already you know I see I've seen several young female reporters walk away from the profession because it's all too much and I don't blame them.